Okay. Uh, where is the point where you start getting carried away with what you build, what you got, and reliability and function? Uh, it's a simple $100 motorized bicycle. Can they be reliable and make more power with minimal work? Sure they can. Get you a nice little carburetor. Possibly some little reeds. One thing's a must. Just get you a decent cylinder head. Biggest part of being reliable is assembling your motor properly and setting it up properly. Make sure your wrist pin clips are in proper. You flush out the bottom end on a brand new motor. Uh, clean up. Clean up your clutch assembly. Degrease it. Grease slings out of the center of the hubs. As you can see, I got a stock clutch on this bitch. Never had issues really slipping. Uh, tighten the preload a little bit. Sure, you can get fancier pressure plates and different pads. That helps. Biggest key is, is setting up squish properly. Getting you a decent head. And a carburetor that's tunable and helps improve the reliability. This shit is all convoluted nonsense. And if you're going to use some convoluted nonsense like this, I suggest building a bike with proper brakes, proper wheels, proper tires, proper front forks, proper frame, proper cranks, everything, man. It's all one big picture, man. You know, I got friggin' bicycles sitting here I don't even ride. If you want a motorcycle, go buy a damn motorcycle, man.